So this is a Williamson kinematograph from around 1909. Um, is on a precision motion picture apparatus company incorporated precision tripod and gearhead. And the camera looks like this when it's running. Has a uh, original footage counter with original Williamson logo in there. Uh, Williamson kinematograph lens, which is quite rare. Uh, they're usually been uh, removed and upgraded. Camera has a key on the back. And you open the uh, film side of the camera. Has one of my favorite things ever. Has binoculars. One of the mats is still with the camera and binoculars. Love that thing. Now this is a supply mag. And so you put the brand new mag in there with a load of film. You thread the film through the camera. Pull the viewing tube back. Open the pressure plate. Thread your film. Put your doing tube back in, pull the light plug here, look through here and get uh, critical focus right on the film. And then you put the light plug back in and you're ready to shoot. Camera still has both magazines with original Williamson Kinematograph Company logo on them. Williamson Kinematograph, around 1909. One has to understand that in the beginning, there weren't movies. They were animated pictures. They were a one step up progression from still camera images to moving camera images. No one really believed that there was much of a uh, future for animated pictures. They were just a quirky novelty. It was James Williamson and the Genesis generation that wrote the film grammar that carried animated pictures to the point where motion picture industry became possible. The patent is 2178-08. The dash 08 is the year the patent was issued, so it must have been applied for in 1907. This is an amazing example of early cine cameras. Being the owner of this camera is very much like owning one of the very first Gutenberg printing presses. It was exactly this type of camera that altered the very concept of time for human beings. Historically, time had always been a universal flow in one direction. Now, all of a sudden, there was forward, reverse, time lapse, and super slow motion. At no other time in human history could one view the slow motion beating of an insect's wings or the birth of a plant from seed to flowering in just a few seconds of real time. No one had ever seen a steam locomotive go backwards and swallow its own smoke. For us, in the beginning of the 21st century, this is so commonplace as to be almost boring. For people at the beginning of the 20th century, these kinds of images were stunning, exciting, and fascinating. It was the technology that captured people's attention. Before Hollywood movie pioneers, there was the genesis generation of movie makers. These people were in the movie business before movies were called movies. This was the period from about 1894 or 5 up until 1910. In 1900, James Williamson was one of the first people that conceptualized and then figured out through editing how to manipulate the movie format 
to tell a proper story in a linear time fashion and maintain a continuity that was understandable. He purchased a projector in 1897 and converted it into a camera and started making movies. James Williamson is credited with making 222 movies in 13 years, starting in 1897 and ending in 1910. This is one of James Williamson's cameras. There's no way to put a definitive date on this camera, but an educated thought process places this camera near 1909, plus or minus a year or two.